Hello children, welcome again to another class of English language. Today children, we are going to discuss the use of the pronoun along with self or selves. Now children, words ending in self or selves are used when the subject and the object of a sentence are the same. That means when the person is talking about a particular action or anything done by himself, by themselves, we use the word self or selves. So let us have a look as to how we change the pronouns when our pronouns are I, you, he, she. How do we change them using self or selves? Now, for example, if you have your sentence beginning with I, we, while writing the self word, we use I instead of I, we use my self. Likewise, when we have you in the singular form, we have your self. Next, when we have you in the plural form, we use your selves. That means S-E-L-V-E-S -E -E was joined to it. Next, he becomes himself and she becomes herself. Likewise, it becomes itself and they changes to themselves. Likewise, our changes to ourselves. Now, children, I have written certain sentences for you. So, let us understand them where we are using self or selves. Now, the first one, the boy hurt himself. So, when we know we are talking about a subject that is also in the singular form, we need to write him. But since it is in the singular form, we write self, S-E-L-F. So, who did the herb boy hurt? He hurt himself. So, we find the word or the pronoun, the reflexive pronoun after the verb. Likewise, I did my work by myself. So, who did that work on his own? He, himself or I, myself. I, myself did the work. Next, the horse hurt itself. So, who did the, do the horse hurt? It hurt itself. So children, himself, myself, itself shows us that the action was done by the subject itself. Next, you children must do your work yourselves. So over here, you children, this is the plural form. So instead of writing you or yourself, we change it and write yourselves. Likewise, they themselves did their work. Now if you have a look children, I have added themselves right after the subject. In the previous sentences, we saw that the words himself, themselves, herself, itself was towards the end of the sentence. So it was after the verb. But in the sentences below, themselves, herself, itself comes after the subject. So these sentences where the words uh, um, like ourselves, himself, come straight after the subject, they emphasize on the particular person who has done the work. Now when we talk about they themselves did their work, this sentence, what does it explain? It tells us that no one else but they, maybe once a month, maybe it's something very surprising, something very astonishing, they never do their work, but this work was done by themselves. That means they themselves did it, no one else. She herself told us the news. That means she is never interested in telling us anything. But it was such an exciting news that she came forward and told us the news. Now children, the difference between them, what did I tell you? The reflexive pronoun always comes towards the end of the sentence or in the middle. But the emphasizing pronoun comes straight after the subject. So I hope children, you have understood where we are going to bring changes and how we are going to use self or selves with the pronouns that we know about. Thank you.